In question three of this exercise, we have to give four rational numbers equivalent to each of these three rational numbers given. So this is a very easy question. All we have to do is write any four equivalent rational numbers for each rational number. Okay, so let's start with the first part. The rational number in the first part is minus two by seven. Now to write any equivalent rational number for this number, we just need to multiply its numerator and denominator by the same integer multiplier. So if we multiply both the numerator and denominator by let's say two, this will give us minus four by 14. So this is an equivalent rational number. Then if we multiply both numerator and denominator of minus two by seven with three, this will give us minus six by 14. Uh, minus 6 by 21. So this is another equivalent rational number. Then we multiply both numerator and denominator of minus 2 by 7 with 4, the next integer multiplier. So this will be minus 8 by 28. And then let me take the multiplier 5. So we multiply both numerator and denominator of minus 2 by 7 with 5. And this will give us minus 10 by 35. Okay, so I have uh, taken the multipliers 2, 3, 4 and 5. But of course, you can take any non zero integer multiplier, and that will give you an equivalent rational number. So the four equivalent rational numbers we have obtained for minus 2 by 7 are minus 4 by 14, minus 6 by 21, minus 8 by 28, and minus 10 by 35. So this completes part one. Now similarly, let's do part two. The rational number in part two is five by minus three. And once again, to write any equivalent rational number for this number, we just need to multiply its numerator and denominator by the same integer multiplier. So let's again take the multipliers two, three, four, and five. So five by minus three, and we multiply both numerator and denominator by two. So this will give us 10 by minus six. Then we multiply both numerator and denominator by three. So this will give us 15 by minus nine. Correct. Then uh, we do five by minus three and we multiply both numerator and denominator by four. So this will give us 20 by minus 12. And finally, let's multiply with the multiplier 5. So we have 5 by minus 3 into 5 by into 5 and 5 in the numerator and denominator. So this will give us 25 by minus 15. So the four rational numbers we have obtained, uh, the equivalent rational numbers for 5 by minus 3 that we have obtained are 10 by minus 6. 15 by minus 9, 20 by minus 12, and 25 by minus 15. Okay, so this completes part 2. Then in part 3, we have the rational number 4 by 9. In this case, let's use negative integer multipliers to find equivalent rational numbers. So let's use the multipliers minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and minus 5. Okay, so 4 by 9 and we multiply both numerator and denominator by minus two. So this will give us minus eight by minus 18. Then four by nine again, this time we use the multiplier minus three in the numerator and denominator. So this gives us the equivalent rational number minus 12 by minus 27. Then next we use the multiplier minus four so we take minus four in the numerator and denominator, and this gives us the rational number minus 16 by minus 36. Okay, and then uh, for the fourth equivalent rational number, let's take minus five as our multiplier. So we have four into minus five by nine into minus five, and this will give us minus 20 by minus 45. Okay, so the four equivalent rational numbers we have obtained for four by nine are minus eight by minus 18, minus 12 by minus 27, minus 16 by minus 36, 
minus 20 by minus 45. So this completes part 3 and with this we have completed question number 3. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.